friends, I am Niharika and back with a new lesson for you. So boys, when you spot a beautiful girl, do you fall short of words? What do we say? Is she just beautiful? Or would you like to expand your vocabulary? Well, that's what we are going to learn today. We are going to look at some new words that would help you to talk about a person's body appearance. So the most common ones that we have is beautiful for a woman. And if you spot a very good looking boy, then you would say he's handsome. But let's see some more words here. We have gorgeous. Oh, she is gorgeous, which also means that she's beautiful, like extremely beautiful. So boys, if you spot an extremely good looking girl, you can say she's gorgeous. Or if you have to impress your partner, you can say you are absolutely gorgeous. We also have words like lovely, like she's lovely. Her style is just lovely. So it also explains that she is good looking. She's pretty, okay? We have the word head turner. Now head turner can be also used for men. He's a head turner or she's a head turner. And what does it mean? Well. Well, it means that when this woman steps out on the street, she is so beautiful or she's just so gorgeous that people turn their heads. They have their awe moment. They're like, oh, she is so beautiful. So it's the awe moment for them. So that's what head turner means. So it can be used for women and also men. We also have the word attractive again, which can be used for both. He's an attractive man or she's an attractive girl and we have charming. She's absolutely charming, which means she's absolutely beautiful. And then we have the word stunning. Now stunning can also be used for both for the men and for the women. So stunning, he's absolutely stunning. This means he has this great personality or his body appearance is just too good he's stunning and then we have the word hot she's hot he's hot now remember hot is a slang so don't use it professionally like you are at work and you tell your boss that oh this girl in my office she's hot avoid that Hot is slang, use it among your friends. When you are with your friends, you want to describe the girl's body appearance, you can say she's hot or he's hot. Now, these are all positive words, okay? We are describing a person when she is beautiful or he is good looking. So these are all positive words that you can use. But at times, there are people who are not so good looking. Now, the opposite of beautiful or handsome is ugly. Now, it is ugly, but this doesn't mean that you use this word. It's a pretty strong word. Like if you say she's ugly, wow, that kind of hurts, ugly. So avoid using this word. What you can use is, um, of course, you if you want to be a little negative about the person's body appearance, you can use the positive words by saying she is not so lovely or she's not so beautiful, not so charming or not so stunning. So which means that they're kind of plain, not too good, not too bad. Okay, but avoid using the word ugly. Now this would help you to talk about a girl's or a boy's body appearance. Now let's have a look at some words that would help you to talk about fat people and thin people. Now we have some fat people and of course we do see some thin people. And let's see what are the words that you can use for fat people. Now of course you are not going to say that you are fat. That's pretty rude. So let's see which words would help you to talk about fat people. The first one is flabby. Now flabby is a word uh, that is used to say when a particular part of your body is a little fat. So that is when you use the word flabby. For example, um, my stomach is really flabby or I hate my flabby stomach. 
so this means that my stomach has a little fat okay so that's when you use this word so usually your arms or your thighs or your stomach are a little flabby we also have the word chubby or oh, she is so cute she is so chubby usually we use the word chubby for small fat children so it's preferred to use for kids when we say oh he's such a chubby kid so he's fat he's cute he's like a football so you say he's chubby now of course we also use it for adults uh, but more commonly used for children then we have husky or heavy set now this means that of course a man is a little fat now these two words are only used for men okay you do not use it for women so if you spot a fat man you don't go ahead and say you are fat you would say that you are a little heavy set or you are a little husky then we have the words plump and curvy now these two words are used for women okay we don't use it for men So you can say she's a little plum. So plum, maybe she's a little short and a little fat. So you use the word plum. Now curvy can also be used uh, in a very positive manner. It's not necessary that uh, a fat woman is an ugly woman, but you can use the word curvy to describe that her body has a little fat, but it's pretty curvy. Okay, so it's more in a positive way, but it's only used for women and then we have the word obese now obese is when a person is extremely fat okay loves eating and has too much of fat then that person is obese okay so these are the words that would help you to talk about a fat person now of course there are people who are pretty thin so which are the words that you would use for thin people we have lean now lean is of course someone who is thin and has a very muscular body so used for both for men and for women she has a very lean body or he's pretty lean okay and even the word wiry also means that the person is thin and muscular so these are the two words which mean thin and muscular used for both we have petite petite is a word used for short and thin girls okay only for women so the girls who are pretty short and they are thin of course so you use the word they are petite this girl is petite then we have the word lanky now lanky is used for women again and it is used for tall and thin so just remember the difference petite is short girls and thin whereas the word lanky is used for tall and thin girls all right then we have the word skinny when you say oh you are too skinny it is kind of a criticism it's a little negative so if you have to say that uh, the person is skinny she would take it in a negative way like it it's being criticized that you are thin you are skinny so you are not so good-looking probably or you can use the word slender so slender is a better word you can say my sister is pretty slender so she's thin but avoid using the word skinny so these are certain words that would help you to talk about body appearances so go ahead talk about people it's okay to talk about fat and thin people hope this lesson is helpful for you guys and i'll be back with a new lesson soon till then you take care Bye.